I did it again. I can't believe I did it again. Uh, what's shaking, everybody? It's your boy, King of Golden State. I'm coming at you with another haul video. And this haul video is stemming from a haul video I did a couple of videos ago. And if you guys recall going back to my crazy insane haul video, um, I think it was like two videos ago, three videos ago. You know, I went to a spot where, re just to recap, um, I went to a spot where I met a couple at a flea market and they showed me some books they were selling at their house. So I went to the house and went through a bunch of stuff and I showed you guys what I had in that first video. So I called them back and I went back to them to see if they had anything else. And they gave me some really good prices for the books I picked up. So, you know, I had, couldn't help it. I had to go back. So I went back to see if there was anything else. So I went there and of course, you know, I wasn't there by myself. It was another guy who was interested as well. So basically it was like a race to the finish just to go to the, what they had, especially with the prices they were selling them to, to me for, it was insane. Um, and I'm telling you right now, the books I'm showing you, I didn't pay hardly too much for them, man. I'm not even gonna go into the specific prices, but I can tell you right now, it didn't hurt my wallet. And, and should you not, they were looking to get rid of these books. And, and I went back, you know, a second time, and I got a stack of stuff. Of, you know, things I picked up the second time. And it's not even funny. I was like, how is this even possible? Um, but yeah, uh, let's go get through all the uh, all the uh, subtleties here real quick. Uh, you know, before I start, be sure to like the video. The video thumbs up looks just like that. Also, comment down below. Tell me what you think of this video. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And if you have subscribed, share this video over to people who might like comic books is very cool. And also, you know, liking the video helps the algorithm out for share, sharing this video. So if you hit like, which doesn't cost you a thing, it'd be kind of cool. Cause you'll be surprised what the hell I'm gonna put up here in the next minute here. So let's get started. Cause I'm gonna start flipping through stuff. Cause this stuff, God, this didn't cost me, like I'm gonna say a grand total, 250 bucks, 250 to $300 on an average total there. So, let's get started. Starting with that. Space Vixens, number 16. I'm not a Space Vixens person, but I love Dave Stevens. And I just love this dope-ass cover. And he had that hanging around there. And it has some Dave Stevens stuff. Got a back cover print here. And, then, and it still has the 3D glasses in here, too. So, that's how fresh this cover is. So, I'm going to start going through stuff, man. Uh... Yeah, like I said, uh, Justice Society, that's the first. I'm going to say this is the first appearance of the Huntress. There's another um, book. I forgot the name of the book. It's off the top of my head. But, and they said that was the first Huntress. But this, it says right there. And introducing the Huntress. So, I'm going to go with this one. Because the, because the guy there who I was picking books against, he, had, he found a first Huntress. was a different kind of Huntress. So found that grab this one i wasn't real familiar about it but it was like number 70 of all star comics for the justice society and it, and it was, had huntress in it so i don't know so i found that found a west coast avengers uh number 46 it's the first appearance of great lakes avengers found a incredible hulk well and this one is an incredible she hulk and it's number 441 that's the uh, pulp fiction uh cover swipe or, uh, yeah, a swipe of the movie poster. So, that's my second copy. I was kind of happy to see that. Just found that for a couple bucks. Found that. I was pretty happy about that. Solar and the Man of the Atom, number... I think 10? It's the black cover. I have a second print. Uh, this is the first print for sure. A pretty clean copy. It's got no ticks. Unless I look deeper, but this is a pretty clean copy. I haven't seen any ticks. This might be worthy of getting slapped. I know it's kind of weird slapping a, slapping a black cover of a comic book, but people have done it before, so why not? Also found uh, some Marvel fanfare, number 10. Also number 11, of course, first Iron Maiden. Um, yeah, I got that for only like two or three bucks. It's crazy, man. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. I really don't. A couple fillers I've had thrown in there. 
like four, uh, I think it was four, number 494. Just got to throw it in there because I just, just go, like I said, I was, in, I was in a rush. I was really going through stuff. It wasn't even funny. A um, couple of fanzines like Amazing Heroes, uh, number five, and also another Amazing Heroes, number 899. That's a beautiful, well, the first one was a of the beautiful uh, Joseph Michael Lenzner cover, and of course this one's an awesome uh, Bill Sienkiewicz cover, which I thought, man, this is a clean copy. I'm going to have to wait until next con season to see Sienkiewicz, or whenever he's available for signing, have him sign this book and get it slapped. It's a beautiful electric, electric cover. Not even funny, man. I love that. So, I've only just started scratching the surface, guys. Um... Found a uh, Vampirella pinup special. Thought that was pretty cool to have. Or that's like my third copy. Um, found a uh, found a X Men number four. It was the first one I ever read there. Found a, uh, a Venom the Hunted. I think this looks like a ten or fifteen dollar book. I got it for a couple bucks. Um, I think TiVo, my buddy TiVo, Lords of the Long Box, mentioned something about this one. Uh, Star Wars Heir to the Empire First appearance of Mara Jade I think if I'm not mistaken Correct me But that one I saw there And uh, I figured I'd pick that up um, And Here's where things start getting hairy guys Because You're on this uh, comic hall roller coaster And I'm telling you things get hairy um, Silver Surfer 34 That's the I believe, reintroduction of Thanos uh, a very clean copy, direct copy of Alpha Flight number one. Um, definitely gonna price in that and get slabbed. It's definitely slabbed where the corners and everything's pretty sharp. And uh, yeah, like he, this guy must have had some of these books stored in, stored years after he purchased them because they're just sitting there. And he honestly, he didn't. He bagged these books, but he never boarded them, which is kind of crazy to me. Um, I'm going to try to move through this whole the hall because we will have to get through in this insane. Uh, found another copy of Shazam, number one. Uh, this one's definitely kind of got that reader's copy uh, feel to it because it's got a couple spine ticks on the side. But uh, it's not as good as the last two copies I got. Uh, found a uh, Spider Woman, number one. Very clean copy. I mean, maybe a corner tick here and there, but definitely has a, uh, a slab worthiness to it. Uh, also found, like I said, things are getting hairy here, guys. Um, two copies of, of Uncanny X Men 282, its first cameo, or I guess you could say a first appearance of Bishop. So, my hold on to these at some point and get one of them signed by uh, Potasio, or maybe flip one, I don't know. But it's kind of cool to see those here. Like I said, things are getting hairy, man. Things are getting hairy. Um, <laughs> found two copies of uh, New Teen Titans number one. That was dope. New stand and a direct. I couldn't believe that those things were sitting there. That was pretty cool to see. Um, found a Teen Titans number three. That's the first appearance of the Fearsome Five. Also the origin of Starfire and also the origin of Raven. So that was pretty dope to find as well. Also found a first appearance of Daredevil 168. This one he happened to just uh, board apparently. Uh, this one's got a couple ticks, but you know, this is probably a good 8 0 or 9 0 copy. First appearance of Electra, so that was pretty cool. Also, yeah, Teen Titans, you can't go wrong with that. Holy fucking shit, dude. I couldn't believe this. Um, new Teen Titans number two, first Deathstroke. This one, I have a 9 4 copy. This one feels better than a 9 4. This looks like a, I'm sorry, Th this feels like more of a, uh, this has to be a 9 8. This has to be a flat out 9.8. No bag, no board, but definitely bagged. I mean, look at the back of that thing. It's so damn clean. I mean, when he bought it, he paid $10 for it, clearly. But the back of this thing is so clean. The corners are sharp. It's flat. I could probably bet my comic collection altogether that if I sent this in right now, without pressing it, it would probably come back a 9.8. That's how clean this thing is. Yes. So... That was pretty. That was pretty crazy. So I already have a copy already of a nine four of um, Deathstroke, and to see that 
blew my mind. <laughs> like, I'm not going to go over prices, guys. All I can tell you is a grand total, I paid about 200, 250 to about $300 for all this stuff. Superboy, number 172. Um, it's a Neil Adams cover. I already have one, but it's pretty cool to have. It's, you know, another copy of it, Raw. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, 328. That was pretty cool. You know, I already have one clearly, but... You know, when you see these sitting there, you just can't help it. You just gotta go out and grab it. Uh, God, Batman and Grindel, that's part of that Hero Magazine thing. It wasn't too crazy. I was like, whatever. I got it for free. Uh, found Batman 457. That's the, uh, first time, uh, Tim Drake becomes Robin. Yeah, well, I think I have, I think I have more than one copy. Believe it or not, I think I have more than one copy of you know, I'm going through the, I have, I still have some other books too. I, I really walked out of there with a short box of books and I'm kind of going through the long box. I'm trying to save, I'm trying to save us some time here. But I'm wasting time going through stuff, trying to figure out what the hell do I have. Eh, I'm sure it'll come up. Um, also got uh, Submariner number 22. It was just like a throw in. Uh, it's the first appearance of the nameless one. I thought that was pretty dope to have. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. All Star Comics number 58, first appearance of Power Girl. Yes, I did not get that at an expensive price. I got that cheap. That's all I'm going to tell you. Uh, Green Lantern Corps number one and two. That was pretty cool seeing there. Uh, he threw those in, actually. You know, he didn't really care. He, he was kind of a careless type of guy where he just kind of like didn't throw, really care about the price of the books. So he just made up the price and threw them at me. Uh, I thought these had some kind of significance to it, but it's like whatever. It's a Kingdom Come preview. They were sitting in there and I almost wanted to, you know, I just wanted to grab them like whatever. They might have some kind of like, I don't know, relevance or worth to it. So I was like, what the hell. Found a uh, Amazing Hero. Whoop, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, get a little too excited. Amazing Hero Swimsuit Special, found that there. Found a uh, Mr. T and a T Force. <coughs> uh, direct and newsstand. You know, it was pretty cool seeing those there. Especially when the cards when the cards and the bags are different. So free trading card, one has a gold foil. So I thought it was pretty cool. A couple copies of uh, Daredevil 270 as first appearance of Blackheart, Morbius' son. This one, I thought, <laughs> this one I picked up and I thought, all right, this can't have any kind of work to it, right? Ewoks number one. Ewoks number fucking one. I was like, all right. So I looked it up. This book's like a 20 to $25 book. Issue number one. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? I definitely was surprised. I'm like, in my head, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the price on it. See if it's got any kind of work to it i'm like it comes up 25 dollars. i'm like 25 dollars. stop it it was just too much but i had to take it so silver surfer superman number one uh yeah crossover of silver surfer and superman and this is where superman becomes a herald he becomes a herald of galactus uh this is actually a key book um or yeah i'd say about a key book it's like a 25 dollar book I mean, the fact that Sil Silver Surfer is in it with Superman and, you know, Superman becomes a herald of Galactus is pretty crazy. A couple Rocketeer issues. Uh, I was missing number three. This is my, like, third or fourth copy of number one. It's pretty dope. I already have a copy of uh, Cheval Noir. Cheval Noir is just some Dave Stevens artwork, which I thought was pretty cool. So I had to grab that. You know? I mean, the rule of thumb if you're a comic collector is if you see anything by Dave Stevens, you should probably add it to your collection. Trust me on that. I know what I'm talking about. Speaking of knowing what I'm talking about, um, that's more Vampirella stuff. So number two, number one, which is really a $50 book. That's crazy nuts. Um, also a number seven and a number six. You seen that sitting in there that, yeah, how could I say no? Couldn't say no at all. So I also found, uh, 
The Shadow number one, that's a clean copy. The bag is old, but it is such a clean copy. Uh, going into the Spider-Man, found that Amazing Spider-Man 314. I thought it was a pretty cool Christmas cover by McFarlane. Found a New Mutants number 100. That's a direct copy, it's not a newsstand, unfortunately. Found a, I, I, books I was just thinking about in my head, like, would I ever find a Rune versus Venom in that pile? I did. I found a Rune versus Venom number one. Uh, yeah, it's like a $10 book, but I mean, there was a lot of Donny Cates talk with that whole thing, but it was pretty cool. Uh, found Silver Shuffle Annual number six. First appearance of Legacy. I think this is like a $20 book. It's kind of weird, I'm not sure. But yeah, I found that in there, and that was pretty crazy. <coughs> what else? What else have we got? Uh, where are we at? We're 15 minutes into the video. Have you guys checked your heart rate yet? And um, let's see. Uh, filler stuff. Found some Silver Surfer number 31. That's a cool Ron Lim copy there. I really dug that. <laughs> Keep going on the Okay. Found a uh, Wonder Woman number 63, which I thought was dope. Keep in mind, guys, these are not just straight out of my collection to try to show off like I'm trying to show, show butter over. This is really something I picked up from, from this guy's collection. Catwoman number two or four. I, was, I just figured, what the hell, I want to pick up the uh, miniseries. And it's suggested for me. It is also suggested for mature readers, so I was like, hey, cool, man, I see a boob or two. It's DC, who knows. This is what I really wanted. Uh, Cheval Noir number seven. I was looking for this as a Dave Stevens cover. Um, yeah, I needed that one for my collection. That was an awesome one. Keep finding this. Green Lantern number 141. First appearance in the Mega Man. That was a pretty dope pickup. So I had, had to grab that. Found another copy of uh, Amazing Spider Man 365. That's the first cameo or first full appearance of, of Spider Man 2099. Um, Found a, made, I found a Spider-Man number one silver copy. That was pretty cool. But I also found this. I thought it was crazy. What's wrong with that picture? That. Spider-Man number one signed by Todd McFarlane. This is back when he signed his, his signature like that before. And not exactly a certificate of authenticity, but it's, it's kind of written right there saying, hey, you know, Letter of Authenticity by Todd McFarlane and so forth. So I saw that in there. The guy sold it to me for cover. I was like, shit, why not? So I picked that up. Also picked up a uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 375. I believe this has to do with the, I think this is the first appearance of Eddie Brock's wife, if I recall. That was pretty cool to see. Also picked up Batman. Uh, number 243 is a pretty cool cover. I think it's got some writing on it. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. But it's pretty cool to see that. So I had to pick that up. I think I already have a copy of this. Marvel team up featuring Spider-Man Red Sonya. But it's a pretty cool thing to have. No, I do now have another copy of this. Savage She-Hulk. Uh, number one. This thing's a pretty clean copy. It's kind of funny. Ever since the announcement of She-Hulk. I've ran to two copies of Savage She-Hulk. You know, and it's kind of crazy, so pretty dope to find. Uh, uh, let's pull some of this down. You know, I already have like, a, you know, a first appearance of Silver Sable. I think I showed that in my last uh, crazy haul video, but I went back and I found, of course, one, two, and three. So, one, of course, one of them is a newsstand. And one thing the guy didn't do is buy backing boys very much for many of his books. It was kind of frustrating. But, yeah. So I think I have five copies or six copies of the main Spider-Man 265. It's kind of, kind of crazy. Um, yeah, first appearance of Silver Sable. And that's like a $30 book. I was like, alright, that's pretty cool. But, uh, I had to pick them up. I couldn't say no. I couldn't let, I couldn't let them sit there, you know? Um... Uh, See, I also found this. That's a uh, Incredible Hulk number 14, first Prince of Talos. Found uh, another 
Marvel Fanfare cover by George Perez. I believe it's an uh, Iron Man uh, appearance. Oh, here we go. Another copy of uh, Batman 457. That's a uh, being, uh, being able It's um, Tim Drake, excuse me. <laughs> uh, Wonder Woman number 100. Uh, this one is a Brian Bowen cover. Whoever put this in the box really shove it, shoved it in there really, really good. Fortunately, well, the spine is not damaged, so I think he mentioned something about his in-laws, like his mother-in-law was packing some of his comic books and shoved them in there so tight to save space. But thankfully, this doesn't have any spine damage. So it's pretty cool. Found a, another copy of Avengers number 200. That was pretty cool, double size issue. Again, also not bad, also not boarded. Found a uh, Jungle Comics number one by Dave Stevens. It's a Dave Stevens cover. Found another swimsuit issue of Amazing Heroes number one fifteen. I have yet to take a look at that. I'm sh I think I think one of these swimsuit issues actually has an, an Adam Hughes uh, pinup in there. It's pretty cool. Also found um, I just recently sold this, but just to see it there, I had to get it back. And this one is in the is uh, in some much better shape than the ones that sold. So, as I saw this, I couldn't say no. Oh, okay. uh, Kingdom Come. I think it's number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. If I recall the order. But, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool seeing those there, so I had to pick them up. Those are going for a couple, what, for a dollar, I think, or so. I'm not sure. Like I said, grand total was pretty crazy. Um, also, I found that. Uh, Spider Man 2099. Again, this is another victim of the in law, like scrunching it in. So, this thing could probably be due for a press. But, uh, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was scrunched in. Thank God it, the um, spine wasn't damaged. So, found that there. Found a ROM number one. That was pretty wild. I was like, holy shit. You know? I mean, a lot of these books I have, but it was like, man, I'm going into a heart attack. Uh, Hellblazer. I've, I've had this on my want list. You know? Issue number one. And I thought, you know what? This is uh, quite the book to get. So, I had to get it. I couldn't help it. I mean, it was one of those things where I was like, holy shit. Hellblazer number one is just sitting right there. Let me see if I could try to... Uh, Get the guy to buy it off him, for, for me to buy it off him. He sold it to me for a good price. A couple of Spider Man's, number 303. Um, Milo books. That was pretty cool. Um, what else? He also had um, <coughs> Amazing Spider Man 301. Uh, I don't know if this is the best copy, but like I already sent my other two copies out to uh, get pressed. This one, I think, has a little color break. Tick on the on the side there by the spine, so I may send this in to get pressed and just entertain it and see if I get it. Get I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to get a nine eight. I'm hoping to get a nine eight, but uh, chances are who knows? This might be a nine six copy. Um, <coughs> this one, these are these are. All right, let me try to take this down. We're almost done, guys. We are almost at the uh, home score the home stretch. We're past home stretch. Um, these books are rare books, except for this one. Um, Grindle number one, you can find that just about anywhere. He told me he had a, uh, Grindle, uh, first appearance and I was kind of like, okay, cool. Check it out. And he showed me Grindle number one. I was like, yeah, that's not exactly the first appearance I was looking for. <laughs> so I still bought it off. And it, it, it's really, it, this Grindle number one is normally like a dollar or $5 issue. You want the first parents, which is like Comico Premiere number two. He didn't have that. But he did have the third appearance of Grindle. It was Grindle number two by Comico. And he also had the second appearance of Grindle. Which I thought, man, you got fucking kidding me. He had Grindle number two. I'm sorry, Grindle number one, which is the second appearance of Grindle. Um, this book is a hard to find book. Keep that in mind. I, mean, I think, I think there's only 2,000 copies in existence. 
I could be wrong. If you're out there, you know, in a subscriber base right now, just tell me if I'm wrong. I believe there's 2,000 copies that exist for Grendel number one. Um, so yeah, that would make this book pretty rare. Also in his pile, which most likely is going to be going to the slab after I get it pressed. This thing's clean as hell. This has high grade ability. Star Wars number one. Yes, Star Wars number one. Uh, newsstand too. I mean, not many newsstands are going to be clean. Yeah, I was pretty stoked to see that in there. He get, I mean, he only charged. I mean, he did charge me like twenty five for that, but I was like, that's fine. Because I'm not going to say no to that. Uh, yeah, Star Wars number one, sitting in the, you know, just sitting there. I was like, holy shit. You know, so, uh, I couldn't say no. I, already ha I mean, because I have a Star Wars that's already slabbed and it's an 8.5. This one is definitely what I've got higher grade. And to close things off, uh, I, I was going for guys his boxes. And as I was taking box comics out to look at, because they were tightly... You know, squeezed in there. I was trying to put a pile of comics back in as I was done looking at it, and all of a sudden something stopped my momentum from putting comics in. There. I was like, "What's jamming things up?" So I, I noticed he put like a comic or two on the side of the box. So you know how you put comics down inside the short box, and but the thing is, there's always a side of the short box. So something was stopping it, and I was trying to figure out what the hell is stopping like my momentum from putting the comments back into the box. So I was seeing what was the holdup. So I looked in there and I found this. I was like, holy shit balls. X-Men 101. I was like, holy fuck. I shit you not. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I was trying to like, I was like, I was kind of jammed the comics and trying to figure out what the hell is holding this up? So I looked in there and I pulled this out and I was like, you've got to be fucking motherfucking kidding me. Part of my language. And so I took it out and I put that aside. <laughs> I had to do it. But yeah, he, 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 you know, as I stacked everything together, I was, in, I was wondering, man, I wonder if he's going to charge me like an arm and a leg. No, I didn't pay no more than 300 bucks for all this stuff. This is crazy. I'm still in shock. I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. So. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, this video is going up on 27 minutes. Um, I'm I'm blown away still. And, yeah, I think that may be the last time I'm going to the guy's, um, to the guy's house. I might send that guy a bottle of wine just in thanks for that guy. Because, you know, I mean, sometimes you see stuff like this, you, you feel like you need to pay it for it. You feel like you need to get somebody like a gift or something like that you know so i might go back to that guy's place and bring him a bottle of wine and say hey thank you because this is a crazy this is just it that is a crazy insane haul um but that's it guys i got another more uh you know the deal hit like looks thumbs up like that comment down below tell me what you think also subscribe if you haven't and if you already have share this with somebody who might like comics and tell them to subscribe that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.